let's build a Copilot Studio agent that we can publish to a website. So in Copilot Studio, I go to Agents up here, and in the upper right corner, I click Create Blank Agent. This will set up the agent. In this lesson, the focus will not be so much on building the agent. I want to show you how to publish this to your website. I created a lot of other videos on how to create these agent with instructions, knowledge, etc. Kindly check this video up here. That will be a complete use case in building this agent. Now we want to publish this little agent to our website. Once it has set up, I can click edit here. Let's call this coffee support agent. Let's pretend we have a coffee shop or a supplier of coffee. So we save it here. Then our request has completed successfully. Then I can hit publish up here and I can choose to publish this agent and let's fast forward a few seconds and that's it. Then I can go up to settings in the upper right corner. Go to security. Go to authentication here. Right now, this agent can only be accessed with users in my organization with an enter ID. So that is their Microsoft work account within my tenant. Let's change this to no authentication because then the entire internet can use this agent as that will be on our website. I can hit save here. I will hit save once more. This will save this setting. I close the setting up here in the upper right corner and then I hit publish once more. Let me hit publish here and publish it again. That will publish the agent. Let's fast forward again. That's it. Then you go to channels. First, let's see how this agent looks at a demo website. So down here we can preview it. If I click the demo website over to the right, I can hit open demo website. Here you will see the coffee support agent. Right now it doesn't have any instructions. So when I say hi here, it will just say, how can I help you? I'll say bye. Would you like to end our conversation? Yes. Yes. And let's give it five stars. That's it. Let's close this because we probably don't want a web page like this demo web page. We have our own. Close this. And then I close this up here. If you go down to web app, now you will see the HTML code up here. We can copy it. Code snippet has been copied. Let's go to our desktop. Here I will right click new text document. Let's just call this index.txt for now. Control V to paste in this HTML. Remember to save it. So Control S and I can close it. Now I just need to change this extension down here to dot HTML. Yes, I want to change the file name extension. Now it will be a web page. Here I will find a coffee support agent. And yes, it is a little bit small, but it is there. I can say hi. And now you will see how can I help you today. Now we want this to be integrated in our current website. That could be our website of the coffee support com or the coffee company. Sorry. Let me open up a new tab. Since we don't have a web page, let's quickly wipe code one. I'll go with the copilot 365 chat, but feel free to use chat DBT. For this task, I'll prefer the Think Deeper or the GPT 5.2 Think Deeper. Use one of the reasoning models. And here we can give our prompt. I want a website. So create the HTML, CSS, and Java script for a website for my coffee supplier company. And then we can tell Copilot to act as a senior web developer and make the layout modern, fun, and with, sorry, D too much, with lots of fun features. Use very bright 
colors make a placeholder for an iframe. This is important with a chatbot. Make it available for me to download. Then this will probably take a couple of minutes. That's fine. And again, you will see that this comes in an iframe here. And we have this URL, sorry, here for the Copilot Studio chatbot. We will use that on our web page that is about to be created. In the real world, you will of course have this web page ready. So it's just to integrate it. Let's fast forward until we have a solution. And here it comes. Here we can see that we can download the complete website. Let's go do that. It will download a zip file. I also getting a senior dev style web page wipe coded for us here. I have a lot of things and we have a chatbot iframe placeholder. Let's go inspect that. So what I do is to go to my downloads. Let me right click and choose extract all and extract the zip file. Now I have the web page here. Let's first open it right now. Well, that looks very bright. Um, we can see some bright colors here. Let's not dwell too much with that. Down here, we can see that we have a chatbot placeholder. Here we can drop in our chatbot, replace source about blank with your embed URL. Yes, we probably need to tweak a few more things, but this is where we want our chatbot to go. So what I do here is that I go to Copilot Studio, just grab this URL all the way down here to the double quotation marks. Control C to copy this. Let's close the web page and let's go down here. Right click this index HTML. I choose to edit it here in Notepad, but feel free to Notepad it wherever you edit your web pages. Let's do a Control F. Let's search for placeholder or something like this. And it is not here. There's probably a lot of placeholders. Here we have our chatbot. So here we have a title chatbot iframe placeholder. We could also change that, but let's just change this little guy here, the source, control V to paste in the, the address of the Copilot Studio agent. Control S to save the index and now our chatbot is ready. And I'll open again, let's scroll down. And here we have it behind. As you can see, actually it's, I'm your, uh, we have this overlay here, drop in your chatbot here. We should probably get rid of that. Go do that. It says drop in your chatbot here. That's when you wipe code. Here we have a div a drop in button class. We have this overlay here. I will just prefer to do that. This save it again and let's see this web page. Now we have it, let's scroll down. Now you have your chatbot. Yes, you could make this chatbot much more pretty, but now it's integrated into our web page. We can publish this. Yes, help me. And then it, we could have a conversation. Again, it's not configured probably to our demands. You will need to watch the next video on how to create these agents. You will find that here. Thanks for watching.